Well, it sounds like you're very prepared for this fight. Um, I need to ask, given with your amazing resume, you had fights with Dante Shevchenko, Raquel Pennington, like I just mentioned, Ronda Rousey. Do you think there's enough spotlight on you? Because it seems whenever you fight, let's say, for example, the Ronda Rousey fight, a lot of attention was on Ronda. Do you think there's enough spotlight on you as a fighter heading into this match against Cyborg? Honestly, I don't worry about that. I worry about the fight, you know. The fight, the result is going to be, it's going gonna, it's gonna to give it to me the thing that I really want to. And I don't worry about anything else, you know, if they want to promote, who they want to promote, I don't, I don't care, you know. I'm focusing right now to, 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 to make history, you know what I mean? And, I, and it's the only thing that I think right now. Whatever they want to do with the promote, they feel free to do, you know. And, and yeah, it happened in all my fights before this one. They all, I'm always uh, the underdog. I love fights like that. I love to be the underdog. I love to be the one nobody expects I'm not going to do anything, you know. This is the, the big thing for me. I like to fight in this kind of position, you know. I don't have nothing to lose in this fight. You know, absolutely. And, and I, I don't have nothing to lose, only to win. And and I'm I'm, I, I'm good with it. Absolutely. And you know, you are currently the bantamweight champion. You are challenging for the featherweight championship. And just at UFC 231, we crowned Valentina Shevchenko, a person who you beat as the current female flyweight champion. Now, do you foresee a possibility that you could move down and even challenge for a third title? Or is that wake up just too much for you at the current stage of your career? Uh, right now, I'm focusing on my next fight. You know, it's the big one in my career, definitely. It's the big one in my career. And I'm focusing everything that I have, every power, mentally and strength, body-wise, I'm, I'm focusing on this fight, you know. But after this one, we can talk about for sure my next step. I'm gonna op be openly to talk about right after my next fight. Thank you. Uh, next question for the champion cyborg. You said this may be your last fight, and you have openly talked about looking into a boxing career. If this is your, if this does go your way, what else do you have left to prove in the world of mixed martial arts? You know, I never fight for prove anything. You know, it's something I really love. It's my job. And uh, actually, I, I don't say this is my last fight in MMA. You know, I'm going to continue fight. You know, I just say I have a dream have an unboxing fight. This is one dream I came a long time in my life. But it's nothing about 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 this. this is my last fight. I want to do a lot of women's MMA, you know, and they can grow into the box, women's in boxing. I think you're going to be amazing. Like the Meg McGregor did, you know, I think he's opened the door for this opportunity. And you know, it's not just think about me, but, you know, but open the opportunity for women's boxing too. I think it's a great. And they just answer Amanda, you know, Amanda said she don't care about promotion, but she said she wants nine months for training for where she can have time for promotion. This is, sounds funny for me. <laughs> this is the training, it's not about promotion. <laughs> when you have time uh, for training, you don't think about the promotion. About, yeah. about training. Well, but you, you know said, about you be promoted. You said, you said uh, you know, Presti has time for promotion to fight nine months. They don't need anything in nine months. They don't need anything. But I, I don't say the promotion to be about me. I say to promote about the fight. Our fight. The fight. Me and exactly. you. Exactly. You, you think you didn't promote the fight nine months. You think they did I'm, That is not my problem. You should talk to USC about that. You know what I mean? That is not my you. problem. They offer me the fight. Understand. I tell them I have this time for, I'm available for this time, and they, they take it. That is not my problem. You should talk to UFC about that. No, I don't have any problem. I just say, I think it sounds funny. You say you need a nine months for the UFC that is, time for promoter. I, listen, please. Listen, this is, you are a powerful fighter. You are a strong fighter. Do you think it? I'm coming from my last fight about 135. I make 135. Do you think I'm going to step up to fight you if I'm not 100%? Let's be honest. No, I want Let's to be, be honest with you right here. I want, I want I to be 100%. I give you a listen, then. I say, like, listen, then, like, 
I'm not available to fight right now. I just come. I just make 135. I was, I was in injury, and I say like, but uh, maybe if she accepts it at the end of the year, I'm, 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 I'm gonna be 100%. And that is not my yeah. problem. You should talk to XT about that.